Comet Sukhinchen Atlas C 2023A3 is making its closest approach to the Sun at 0.4 astronomical units. Waves of solar heat will make the comet visible at dawn. This is Comet C 2023A3 Tsukhinchen Atlas on the morning of September 27th, the day the comet reaches its perihelion, the closest point to the Sun in its orbit. Well, the time has come. Comet C 2023A3 is now visible to the naked eye in the pre-dawn skies of Australia and Aotearoa, New Zealand, and is expected to make its best appearance within the next few weeks, and it looks promising. It probably won't be the comet of the decade let alone the comet of the century, but it will almost certainly be the best comet of the year. The first viewing period will be from September 27th to October 2nd. You'll need to set an alarm, as viewing will need to take place before sunrise, before the sun comes up. The comet will be very close to the horizon, so viewing may be difficult. The second observation period will run from October 13th to 26th. For mid-latitude regions in the northern hemisphere, the best time to observe is in the evening when the western horizon is clear, says the Paris Observatory. Comet C 2023A3 Tsukhinchen Atlas is currently a morning object, rising about an hour and a half before sunrise. It is visible to the naked eye, but is not yet spectacular. However, with binoculars you can easily see the comet's dusty tail, which points away from the sun. Comet A3 can currently be seen at night from both the northern and southern hemispheres, but the further south you go the easier it is to spot. When the comet reappears in mid-October, the situation will be reversed, and observers further north will be able to get a better view of the comet. For example, people living in Australia or South Africa may find it harder to spot Comet Sukhinchen ATLASC 2023A3 than those living in India or Central America. So get ready to watch the beautiful view in the sky.